Syria hype Syria hype hi hi. Don't push yourself too hard today. Hello, little owls. Welcome to today's stream. Uh, a, a, a more short, um, more quiet stream. Hey, Asmahari, how you doing? Thank you very much again. <laughs> um, yeah, as I already pinned, and I hope it is pinned, um, my voice is still not uh, back to normal. My appointment is still taking quite a while. Uh, the weird spray that I have to take. Uh... It only helps like so much. It like suppresses the cost a little bit. But like uh, my voice being weak and, and like the throat being like totally like <laughs> out of commission. Uh, uh, with that it doesn't really help. But I mean it helps a little bit. So I'm grateful for everything that there is. Um, and thank god I can, I can move my arms normally again. So at least that is like... <laughs> away. It's all hurts like a tiny bit sometimes, but not to a big degree. But yeah, uh, I would really hope that the appointment would go faster regarding like the lung expert doctor thingy, but I mean, we all know doctors have infinitely long wait times. Better than the hell it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. 100% way better than, than the way it was. I couldn't move my arm. It was that point that I started noticing how many tasks actually like need you to lift your arm for certain things or on how many you need actually like two arms in instead of like one arm, you know? Because like you're like okay, I, I I can just do it with the other hand, but then you like have on like a a something heavy that you need to do, or you have something where you um where you have to like precisely use like the second arm to hold something and then do something with the first. <laughs> I mean, don't want to get me started on gaming. Like that's like a luxury thing, but I mean, cooking alone. <laughs> Have you tried chopping something like a vegetable with like just one hand? It either either it's like either it's like slipping away, or you can't probably cut because uh, 
the lower your arm leg is, the, the less like precise strength you have in, in like your hand. Because I could move my hand, just not the arm. So, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> that was a thing. Good thing I had people that were helping me like deal with that. So I wasn't alone. In... <laughs> they, they had to do the, the cutting of the vegetables for me. <laughs> You notice how they actually use a button? Yeah. Um, also, I did notice how much you subconsciously move in the middle of the night or throughout the day. Like something that you don't even notice. Like like your body automatically wants to get a blanket or wants to shove the blanket away or like change position. Like that happens naturally. Um, but when that happens and you wake up with like a gruesome pain in the middle of the night, you, you notice that because it just ain't working. Your body forgets it because it's dumb. Haven't seen you in a minute. Yeah, I, um, uh, I was, um, sick. More like I have health problems currently. Hey, the Cassie, um, yeah, uh. Still recovering from that, but I'll, I'll try something. At least half of it is now gone, so um, we'll see how things are going from here. <laughs> At least at the moment, um, if my voice gives out early or something, I can still do like a mute stream or like chat or, or type. <laughs> but before with with um, with one arm. And not working voice that was like that that was too much <laughs> but yeah the shot that they gave me actually did help a lot I, I'm gonna have to say that that worked I wouldn't say instantly but like one or two days uh, and the pain was already way better which was probably because they also inserted some painkillers directly don't ask me um, but uh, it also did uh, did uh, loosen up the swelling and stuff of the, my shoulder, and then boom. <laughs> I've been very busy for a while, and I said you're getting better. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It is certainly. It's certainly good. <laughs> I'm enjoying having two arms again. <laughs> but yeah. Um... I hope this doesn't never happen again. And, and the bad thing is, like, I would like to have like a a reason on why it happened. You know, like this. Please don't do this. Um, so so uh, this doesn't happen in the future. But there was no reason this happened. So basically, I'm like, ooh, this happened randomly, and it's not your fault. Like, it could happen at any point again or something. And they said if that's happening, I just have to get back and I get another one of these, uh, of the shot directly into my, my, my bone. <laughs> I don't know. Um, sustenance. <laughs> and, and then it will be better again. But they can't give this, uh, like, too often because it has side effects. Don't ask me about the side effects. They gave me a, a paper on the side effect thingies and basically they gave it to me and said like please write your name here they didn't give me time to read it they were like yeah yeah, yeah standard procedure yeah put it here but it was like a um two a two page paper um that you have to sign but i didn't read it the only thing i could read was like the, the title which was like side effects and i'm like okay great <laughs> I'm guessing I just signed my death contract. Two arms flexing. No, I'm not flexing. I think that's bare. I would say it's bare minimum. There are a lot of people that only have like one arm, but at least they have no pain when they're trying to use their not, not uh, <laughs> working arm or something. I don't know. Use the toes makes it easier to ride. Personally, I've never written anything with my toes. But I sometimes like grab things with my with my toes, you know, when when stuff like on the floor or further down, I very often use my toes to like grab that stuff and like put it back where it belongs. 
way easier than like um like like bending down and and doing stuff i don't know why it just comes more natural just glad it works enough that you won't need to rely on it too much <laughs> Mm. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. As I said, it, it's probably just like standard procedure, you know? Like when you have like a a surgery, you also get like these very, very long pages of things that could happen, but mostly nothing happens. So I know how it is. It's standard procedure. I, I, I did... Honestly, I did read up online what, like, the side effects can be, and apparently it's, like, it can make, uh, muscles weak or something. Which is why uh, training is important, which I did. Hey, Kappa, how you doing? Yeah, I'm alive. Um, barely. <laughs> I live. <laughs> I, I live. My arm is working again. Uh, my voice not that much, but it, it's okay to a degree that I don't have to cough like every five minutes. And if I do have to, I just mute myself like this. Wait. Okay, and then everything is good. <laughs> I hope. But that appointment will have to wait until... When is my appointment again? Wait. Uh... Ah, end of July, yeah. I, I have it here in my little calendar. I also have the address, because I never went to this doctor before, so I have no idea. <clears throat> Keeping muscles is so much more frustrating. Hmm. Well, it's not like big muscle thing, it's just like... Um, uh, with the shot they gave me, you can get like weaker muscles. In the area they like inserted it, which in my case would be like the shoulder and arm. Uh, so I had to like do some stretching. Just some stretching exercises. Nothing too fancy, no lifting, no no nothing. Just... I don't know. <laughs> some very basic things. <laughs> Just to, like keep it uh, moved. Which, mind you, was not that easy in the beginning when the arm was not movable, so I kind of had to, like, forcefully, against my pain, lift my arm up with the other arm. Then, like, I, I, I stretched it out, like, like it was stretched out, and then I was, like, leaning against a, 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 a closet, and, I, like, I propelled myself against it, so that, um... That the arm is like fully stretched. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, so you're like, you're pressing against the closet with your body, with the, the arm uh, pressing against the closet so that, that there is like a, uh, a stretch uh, in the shoulder area. Something like that. <laughs> Now I can with both. Now I now I could with both arms. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow, Trans Jenny. Thank you very much. <laughs> also, uh, did you hear that? Cause I didn't hear anything. It could be that my sound is not working. A variety show challenge. No, it wasn't that hard. It, maybe I I'm making it sound hard. Normally it's not that hard. The problem is when you can't lift the arm, getting it to a position where it's like up and then once it's up it stayed up i just couldn't move it up you know you didn't hear any okay wait i'll try my best uh, uh i have an idea on what the problem might be um, give me a second. Yeah. And this. I 
I think it's because my setup stuff all changed again. Because OBS kind of like had an update. Ain't they horse, by the way? I, I didn't see that. <laughs> Attack from behind. Okay, I'll, I'll um, replay the alert and you can tell me if you hear something now. Did you hear something? Because I did. I did. Okay, yeah, then, then, then OBS just... Uh, <clears throat> it did lose my... <laughs> my microphone again and everything. But it's okay. It's been a while since I saw you. Been a while since I saw everybody. Um, I was I was sick, still am sick, but it's better now. So I thought I'd try a stream, just get back into things, see how I can handle stuff. I saw the alert. I saw it before too. It was visible. It was just very quiet before. So. It was sneaking up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah. Uh, I haven't thought about what we're gonna do today. But I'm guessing either we're gonna play some, uh, Star Rail. I have not, um, looked through the new areas yet. I haven't explored them. I just went through them for the for the story um and yeah that's it also there is a new fiction that i haven't touched yet because i didn't even manage to finish the last one yet so um and in genshin in Genshin, I haven't done the new area yet, the the new underwater area thing. I still have that open. <clears throat> and new fiction wants dots. I think that I'm in a bad position because um, I have about like three dot characters, um, and only one of them is like considered good enough and. That one would be heavily relied on the character that I don't have. So, um, I think I'm out of luck then. It's like, it's like the problem when you're in. Thank you for the, yeah, I'm posturing. <laughs> I'm slouching. I'm sorry. Is that better? <laughs> Probably resetting camera too. There. Yeah, I, uh, did you check out Withering Waste? Yes, I did check it out, but I I haven't come like very far yet or anything. Um, I just don't have the time to check it out like very much. But I did see that they have a like, uh, what was it like a free selector that you got, and I was like, okay, um, I don't really have the time to like get into the game much, but um, <clears throat> maybe maybe. Uh, I want to in the future, so I shouldn't miss uh, getting that thing. So that's basically what I did. You know. Did you try it out? <laughs> because you're, you're asking. I did see many people try out the game. I must say it's um, <clears throat> from what I've gathered so far, which I said is not too much. But I think it's more action oriented in like the combat, which is to my liking. Um, but I am I, I'm still like very confused on some systems because, as I said, I haven't spent too much time on it yet. So that that is a <laughs> I don't have like the in depth knowledge yet. Like, most people probably don't, because, you know, it's uh, basically freshly out. But I know a lot of people that, like, <clears throat> that uh, checked out, like, better footage, and so they had more knowledge beforehand or something. I just went in blind, you know. It doesn't make me interested in the genre yet. 
I mean, I think it's 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 more. It's more. How, how would you put it? It's more. It, it reminds me a tiny bit, like not the difficulty, but like the the gameplay reminds me a little bit more of like uh, action games. Ugh. You know, because it has like, um, like reactive dash that like looks very dashy and not like just movement moving to a side, but like like doing a special animation. It has counter attacks and like parries and I don't know that reminds me like very much of like a lot of action games. Maybe maybe also a little like souls like, but without the difficulty too much. But that maybe because I'm just like in the first area. I don't know about the difficulty much. <laughs> The progression is eh for me. What do you mean about the, the progression? Ow. <laughs> I moved my arm too much. <laughs> Cause isn't isn't like the progression like very similar to like other games? Cause you know you have like you have resources you spend, you have the level you gain. Also, thank you very much for the hydrate. Yeah, I should drink more. I don't know. How the progression would be much different. It's more skilled, yeah. It's more skilled. Thank you. It's not quite as flashy though. Honestly, I, I prefer Genshin, but I'll have to give it, um, I'll, I'll have to give it points for being totally different, like, combat-wise. Which is good. It's, it's a good thing to be different. And the only thing that I'm not very keen of, from what I've seen, from like people that are like I watched one or two videos on like certain topics that confused me um is that apparently the game's very reliant on like these like transformation or summon thingies and maybe it's just me but they're all really ugly and I don't know I, I just I don't want to transform into an ugly spider car or something like every 20 seconds. It's, uh, nah. It's not really mine. I'm already ugly in real life. I don't need this in my game. I mean, if they could, like, if they could, like, make an option to, like, turn off the, the optical transformation, just do the effect, I think that would improve the game by a lot in, like, my personal standing. Because of the swap cancel mechanic, you can transform and easily switch off. Yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I already hated canceling, uh stuff since since the old Elder Scrolls day where you had to kind of like do that. I hated that so much there already. Animation canceling is not my my forte. I know how to do it but I hate it. I hate it guts. Also the thing is still like on the on the field doing its its things. <laughs> so you can still see the monster doing things. Even though you are like swap cancelled off to like a different person or something. I mean technically when you're playing very casual and you're not wanting to do anything in the game except like get through. I uh like through the story. Um there are ways to like pick some monsters that are like actually I would say cutish, like a little turtle or something. And um there are uh, th these are normally the ones that you just summon so it's more like a little pokemon that you have i think those are those are more interesting and i like those way more but i noticed that like most of these or i think all of these are not like the ones that you want to use if you would actually go for like a 
best build. And this kind of like, this conflicts in me because on the one hand, I want a good build. On the other hand, I want the cute thing and not the ugly one. So that was like, that doesn't work together. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> It does emphasize you know, a lot to explore. Yeah, I, and that is that is a good thing, in my opinion. Like exploration, I'm a big fan of exploration in games, no matter which ones. And we're talking actual exploration, not just here are five collectibles or something. Like personally, if you if you like look at the world, it's a little too gray for my liking. You know what I mean? It's it it's not as it doesn't look as colorful or as I don't know. Realistic is not the right word. Doesn't look as believable that it's a world where people actually live in. It's like it has this gamification problem. Where the world just looks like it's a world where a where game takes place and not like a, a, an actual living world or something. At least in my eyes, but maybe it's just not my style that much. But as I said, I do enjoy uh, the combat system, except that one aspect. But personally, yeah, I do prefer, I do prefer Genshin, um, and, and also, um, Star Rail. Genshin because I think it does, like, everything right in, in, in the things that matter to me. Not that that means that I'm happy with every decision <laughs> for the game, but you know what I mean. It just so has a lot of positive points. In Star Rail, because it's just... It's like chill because you can like do a lot of things on auto. <laughs> it's it makes things a little easier if you um can like have it run in the background and the characters like do the stuff for you while you are like working or doing other things. <laughs> That's a comfort level that I'm appreciating. That doesn't make it that um intense in in uh, like the farming aspect because you cannot just have to click like okay i want to farm that i want to farm it six times press press auto and like leave and do something else <clears throat> okay <laughs> My voice gave up there. Uh, it's all good. Um, yeah, uh, normally I would have some uh, like uh, cough drops here. That when my voice gets weak, I'm um, taking a little bit, make it better. And I just wanted to get them out, but I noticed I forgot to buy a new package um, on the weekend. So I'm all out. So. <laughs> I am ill prepared for today, but that doesn't matter really. Okay. Outside we do something. How about we try the fiction when we're when we already talked about it? <clears throat> yeah. You're welcome. You mean about withering waves? As I said, if if you're liking like dodge, um, parry and counter attack gameplay you can try it out that's what i liked about the game i don't like the transformation stuff but as i said i'll probably either stick to the summon cute bubble ball thing that i gotten or the turtle that heals you out of combat or i just never press it and just use it as a stat stick and that's what i am planning to do with it okay i'm uh, starting up the game, which you probably hear because I think it's <clears throat> still connected from last time that I streamed. Uh, fiction. I'll try Fiction 3, or maybe at least I can get one or two. Let let's see.
they weren't stuck with monetization and could allow modding every month that would be queued in two weeks. I did see. I did see. I don't know if this is a, <clears throat> a, a, a ray of hope. I did see that some monsters do have skins. But so far it's just like recolors of the same monsters. So maybe. Maybe. Maybe at some point you can get like a invisible skin or like a cute to fight skin for the specific monsters until then i just either pick the non-meta cute ones or i just ignore the feature i don't know i haven't decided yet or i just you know at some point uh screw it i just use the ugly things i i just don't know it just every every um sense of my being doesn't want that is is that understandable uh, does this work hello <sighs> huh, it does very nice um but yeah mo modding is clear like modding in an online game where you like get stuff from the shop and stuff ne never works together they, they never do that you don't get modding in mmos and nothing especially if there is co-op and the game is like co-op so <laughs> modding will never come that, that i can 100 percent guarantee for like every online mm -hmm. game there is because otherwise you would just so many people would cheat mm -hmm. you know what i mean <laughs> But yeah. <laughs> yeah, as for monetization, I see it that way. It it kind of depends on the person. I, I say the same thing like every time. Um about about Genshin, about Star Rail, about like every game of that kind. It depends on what kind of person you are. If you're a person that like can't hold back and that doesn't have self control to a degree. I need more water, excuse me. Um, then uh, the monetization is a problem for you. If you are a person that has self-control and p good planning skills, then the monetization is not a problem for you. Um, because, as I said, mm -hmm. It is entirely possible to save up for things mm. that you actually do want and not spend a dime, you know. <sighs> but you kind of need to know what you want and <laughs> be prepared. Plan ahead. Don't give in to cravings. Uh, things like that. It's like, when you go past an ice cream store, are you the person to always stop and get ice cream? Or are you a person to say, I had already a big lunch, I don't need ice cream. I want to get a, a, a big dinner tonight, so I will not get the ice cream. And I'll wait for dinner. Are you? The, what kind of person are you? <laughs> if you're the person that can say no to the ice cream and like move on, then you would have no problem. Because you have like self-control. If you just can't like can't do that on then the game's not for you but secondly you probably have problems in every other aspect of your life too so congratulations you're probably going to amazon see an interesting gadget that you will never use in your life and you're like i need that and then you buy it for mm -hmm. 200 bucks and then you're not having any money <laughs> at least mm -hmm. that's like like my view of things like i had a discussion with somebody recently about this exact topic and and i was like when you're looking at things like what you get for your your buck is like a very good thing in both games because you have um you have a game that's completely free with tons of story tons of exploration in a big area that you can like explore and, and like look around to your heart's content and it's free it costs nothing nothing the only thing that you actually like th that's the problem is people wanting to do end game and people want to do the end game because either they're like they have a sense of achievement from it or because they want to get characters 
And what do you need to carry this for? End game. So it's, it's like a loop. And or because you like the characters. But like, like technically, if you're saying like, okay, I only play like the free stuff or stuff that I randomly get on a, like a very casual level, you have the best, like the best system ever because you got nothing and you got like endless hours to enjoy. So, uh, I'm always giving the game like a hard time on like the end game balance of things, but sometimes um, we need to acknowledge that end game isn't all in the game. There's like way more in the game than just end game, you know. For me, it's like 90 days I will walk past the ice cream shop and not even care. <clears throat> I think about it at all. Then I have 10 really shitty days when I buy two each day. I like... Like... It, it, technically, that's okay. As long as you're not buying the ice cream each day. Like, e each time. You know what I mean? <clears throat> She's back and yet like the old days. Yeah, my, my voice is already given up like the old days. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm talking too much. <laughs> okay, you said it's dots this time. <clears throat> Increases dot taken by enemy targets. The problem is I don't have that many good dot characters, I'll tell you right now. Uh, enemy targets with dot have their damage dealt reduced. Which is nice for survival, but doesn't help with clearing. Today, attack to action is forwarded. After they are attacked, their action is forwarded. So we're making the enemy faster. Do I see that correctly? So, in other news, this screams for Clara. Or something like that. Oh yeah, dots also hurt faster if they are faster. Yeah. So I'm guessing Clara and dots are like the secret weapons. Um I worry for you. If my voice gets bad, I will do a break. No worries. Without dot it feels rough. Even with Arikaron, I got 25k only. Oh god. Um, I think we'll try three instantly, or shall we try two first? <laughs> because I'm not trusting myself. I know someone did Clara, he may call her and it did great. You know what the big problem with my account currently is for this? The problem is... I have a big lack of AoE characters. And like, when when you look at it, um, we're going erudition characters. I have one built erudition character, and that's it. That's that's way too little. You know what I want to say? That that's not good. It's uh too little coverage. I would honestly build Himiko, but as you can see. I wasn't lucky enough to get her yet, so I can't build her, because I don't have her. I can't build what I don't have, <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, I may, I may made the dumb choices... Um, ...and did not pick the most intelligent characters... ...when I had the time, but yeah, you know. I'm thinking, I'm thinking with my heart and not with end game in mind. It is the way it is. Okay. Let me have a look at this. Um, What do we have in here? Okay, we have... What are you? What is this? Picture is so small. When not weakness broken, reduce damage received. Oh, this is one of the things that you need to break first. Which means we definitely need an ice of fire or, or electro um, DPS here. Um, 
Um, my... My characters are kind of like limited. I, I don't have much great electro. I mean, I have electro support. And I have Arlan, but Arlan is not doing well in Faction. He's, uh, he's more single target oriented. He's more mock, and even in mock, he's struggling, so... <laughs> you know how it is. <clears throat> well, fire is kind of like the same. The only build fire character I have uh, is Gnifan. And I got the feeling we'll need her for the second uh, half. Uh, I'll have a look at it in a second. Um, so I'll definitely, I'm guessing, take her there. What kind of buffs do we have? <clears throat> when enemy targets are defeated, dots on them have a 100% chance to be transferred to all enemies. Uh, do they have different HP levels? The question is... Does this also trigger if I clear like a whole stage? Like when everybody dies. When everybody dies. Will all dots go to the next wave or not? Because if not, then I guess it's a little useless. <laughs> I mean, not totally useless, because you can stack more dots like on the on the boss thingy. Uh, after enemy targets enter battle, they become afflicted by wind shear. At the start of every turn, they receive a set amount of wind dot. Um, could be good when we don't have a dot character on like one side. If I use my dot team, then it's not good because I think I'll have more than enough wind shear there. It only stacks like this far up. When three or more characters of Nihility are in the team, increases all allies' damage by 60% and speed by 30. <coughs> well, this sounds... Good, I'm guessing. Um, the question is, does increase at damage by 60% also affect the dots or not? Or is this like an Archeron only thingy? That's my question. What about this side? Uh, I see apes, which I'm not liking. And then that every enemy is weak to wind. So technically, we could definitely go with like this combo, do this, and then pick any uh, sustain, and then like go with this thingy. You think the first effect is better for dot? Um, as I said, it kind of depends on does it go from wave to wave or only inside the wave. I'm kind of unsure which one is better. It definitely, for the dot team, definitely not the second one. That's the only thing I know. Because they already are, like, decked out with that one. First effect goes inside the wave. Okay. Yeah, if it if it if it goes like from wave to wave and not just from enemy to enemy, as long as they're standing next to each other, then it should like work. Then I pick this one. And I think for this side, since I'm not really having a dot character left. Do I have somebody that can do dots? Nope, nope, nope. Nope. 
Since I'm not having a character left that can, like, apply dots, I'm guessing I'll have to go with the wind shear one on this side. Just so we can get the advance forward and the reduced damage effect or something. I mean, it's only stage three. Stage four is uh, making me a little bit more nervous. So. so technically, if we pick Clara, then some sort of sustain. Don't ask me which. I'm not quite sure yet. I'll just put a placeholder here. Um, then we do a herder, and I don't know what to do in the last slot. Hmm. Technically, since we're having like two uh, DPS, Robin might not be bad, I'm guessing. So that leaves us with the two sustain slots to be filled. Now let me think about skill points. Uh, what sustains do I have even? I have Chapard, Fujuan, Locha, uh, that's about it. I'm guessing it. I have a Bailu, but she's not fully built yet. Might work though. Um, now I have to go look at my builds. Um, he does have like the ice set thingy on, right? So he actually like does. Not much for the group, except like shielding. Fujuan just does Fujuan things. She has like the, um, the aggro cone, so that would be bad with Clara, I'm guessing. Unless I change it up for another one. <clears throat> Other than that, she has fleet on, so 8% attack. Yeah, I would have the um, Fire Trailblazer too, but I think he's not... And, and Marjorie, I think they are not strong enough to solo sustain here, I'm guessing? I'm, I'm not sure. When I'm seeing Ape, I'm getting like, Nightmare on sustain. Um, you're given crit damage, so that would be more useful on the first half. Um, Bylo gives attack, which would be more valuable on the second side. I don't even know what I put on March. I think she just increases her own defense, so... Doesn't do much for the team, I'm guessing. My March is like an afterthought at the moment. It can go no sustain. Only put sustains on stage four. You, you think on three I can go without? Okay. Um. The question is, who am I slotting? Here I have to slot Pella because. If, I, if I'm not picking a sustain, I mean... Aston, that's... I don't have a build Aston, my Aston is 20. <laughs> my Aston is 20. My Aston is not built. <laughs> it's... it's <laughs> I know, I'm doing the wrong choices again. <laughs> Taking on for Black Swan attack buff. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Like, the problem is we have to think about skill points, you know? Wouldn't you rather put Tingyun in the first half for more energy for Clara? You know? 
We'll have to have a lookout for our skill points here, though, because we're using a lot. Unless I'm not using any skill points with, um... <clears throat> with, uh, Herda, then I think we are good. Hanya can help? Hmm, that's true. The, the one big problem we would be having, um... Is that she only like buffs uh, like a single enemy, but we should be good as long as it's like the big one. Okay. Then I think I'm going with that one. You can't even see anything. You're not saying anything to me. I would try this one first, stage three. That would be my 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 try. And I hope nobody dies, but I can't say with sure. Excuse me. Different. All better now. Yeah, let's try that one. I hope it works. Um, depending on how well this one goes, we'll see how stage 4 will go. Um, okay. This. Uh, what do we have here? Mm, half half, actually. I, I think we can go with Clara. I'm not sure. Dangerous thoughts. A thousand wonders to <laughs> fight as one! To protect everyone, tell me, Mr. Sorrow. <clears throat> Harmony and unity. Yeah, I think I think I think we cannot spend any points with her right here, at least in the beginning, because we need to set up so much stuff. But I think it's fine. She does her thing without. <laughs> We are good. <clears throat> Everybody is mobbing Clara. Not that it's a bad thing, but... <laughs> Let's let us be. Yeah, as I said. We might have a little bit of SP problems with this team. Well, as I said, unless I use, um, Herda for SP2. Do you know who I am? Sorry, couldn't mute on time. <laughs> Stop exploding in my face, please. And God, Clara gets much energy for Robin. Yeah, true. Stop hitting the Robin. You're supposed to hit Clara, even though Clara is already pretty low in HP. Dang it! I didn't know they would do that. Now I'm you. I'm wasting my energy. Thank you, enemy. But why now? <laughs> hey there, Cookie. Is that how you pronounce it? I hope. Welcome in. Ow. You'll be fine, trust. Okay, I, I trust, yeah. Listen to the final song of life. I trust your judgment. God, my whole energy. 
stolen. <laughs> Clara may need a healer. <laughs> yeah, I told ya. Maybe a little... A little on edge going without a healer, but it's too late now, so... We're already in this. I was surprised you didn't just change the face to get a battery. Uh, yeah, that was on me. I admit. I admit. That was my fault. Second half, you'll get pretty easy. Okay. I, I, I believe. If you say so. <coughs> Almost sounds like you already like experienced it. Do you know who I am? Target threat index lowered. You're noticing I'm like talking too much. <laughs> I want to protect everyone. Tell me what's your for. I use Kafka good knife in second half. Like, most people are saying that, like, Kafka is always, like, the most driving force. Oh god, my Clara is dead. It's the most driving force in a... In a... Dot team. And I don't have a Kafka, and I'm not planning to ever get one, so... <clears throat> you know where the problem lies. Stop killing me. <laughs> And then I used the knife and black swan, still 4DK. Well, then I just hope my characters are built well enough. <laughs> As they still just have like a... ...set that I built once. <laughs> that was like decent, because I had to build for like... ...three dot characters at once. Which kind of... ...caused chaos. They got bad luck with their relics. As do I, as do I. <clears throat> um. <laughs> Just go back because I'm, 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 I'm uh, scared. <laughs> As long as I don't die before the round's over, everything is like good, right? Oh god, we're all looking so dead. Uh oh. Do not kill me, please. <laughs> My the mm. <laughs> thirty three, but the freaking the freaking price we have to pay. Hmm. Memories seem to be different. <sighs> a foreboding sign. Mark and team got twenty three and two people died. <laughs> okay, then let's see. Uh, have to think. Make a wish. Um, they're all weak too. <laughs> what about fire? Not quite, but I take it. <clears throat> <Everyone's a cover. coughs> God, I need really need to get uh, faster at muting myself. I really hope we can survive the ape without a sustain. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I think we're doing way enough damage. <laughs> we count. By the will of the ten, the ten lords decree, hereby ordained. Ill fate descend. Beneath the waters. Still worried now. <laughs> I'm not much worried now. You're kind of, you're kind of right. This gives me hope for stage four. Or is stage four like way, way, way more difficult? Simple. Maybe we'll see. I shall be the judge. We're just having fun. <laughs> what are you waiting for? To betray my customers? <clears throat> Stage for a second half, Clara is insane. Or was it first? We will have a look. We'll probably can recognize it. <laughs> so you're saying I have accidentally good characters? <laughs> Which is a good thing. Because uh, last time, uh, like, or what? The, the last one, the one that's still running, I did not get 12 stars. I am still trying, so maybe I can still get it, but it's hard. Um, <sighs> it's not accidental, because you build them on purpose. The accidentally, they are fitting that. I, of course, my characters are on purpose, but accidentally, the stage is good. <laughs> Last one, I got nine only. That was the one with the follow-up, right? We count. If I remember correctly. Yeah. And I have a few follow-up attackers. So that's not the problem. The problem is... Um... That, that somehow they are not fitting together, or it just the uh, stage where my follow up attackers are was like good and the other one was not good. <laughs> Only have Ratio, Himiko, and Herda. Yeah, I have like. I have like uh, Herda. Um, Ratio, who else is follow up? Clara? The ten lords decree. Technically, March? Very, very Kobe on Yangshin does a follow-up attack if you're praying to the gods. <laughs> so, nope. Uh, more of a no. Dang it, I used my skill points because I'm an idiot. Doesn't matter. We got it. I can chill. <clears throat> yeah, so, I don't know. Yay! <laughs> okay, now for stage four. Let's see how this one is going. You said it's harder, so let, let me see. But first, I want to get all my stuff. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, I trust you now. I trust you now, okay? I trust. <clears throat> I trust. The trust has been established. Okay, let me see. Okay, it looks like we can keep the exact same teams. Or is that just me? I think we can keep the exact same teams. But I think we should um, put... Um, sustains in this one. What do you say? Sustains is an idea. So, we would replace Tingyan here and Hanya there. Now, what sustains do I put in? Hmm. 
I'm thinking. With Clara, I definitely can only either slot Locha or uh, Bailu. Technically much, but she won't sustain the team, so... Either one of those. Um... How about Lynx? I don't think my level 20 Lynx will manage. No, I have no, I haven't a Lynx built. I also don't have Lynx that long yet, so... I didn't also have the time to like think about if I wanted to build her. And so far all my resources are always like gone, so... <clears throat> there was nothing left on the pile. Hmm. Or oh, Fushuan. The, the problem is my Fushuan has like a light cone that increases her aggro. The, the second problem is I'm not sure if we're running into skill point uh, issues. If we're running this team with Fushuan, you know what I mean? I mean, technically, I could try and, like, change up Fushuan's Lycon for a different one. But, like, the only one that I could, like, possibly take is Texture of Memories, maybe? So... Mm, not that great. Can break toughness. I'm guessing. Question is, what do I put on the second half? Because there, um... We also have, like, skill point issue. And, uh... Fushuan, it makes even less sense. So... Like... Jepard is, like, fine for sustain, but he doesn't do much except that. Bailu would be... Um... Bailu would at least be given an 8% attack buff from the set... Uh, she's wearing, I think. Uh, yeah, she has like the, the fleet set on. That would give a 8% attack. The question is, is my Bilo good enough to sustain? Because my Bilo is like, uh, not fully maxed out yet. But I think it's good enough. She has her light cone, which I accidentally pulled. <laughs> so, hmm. Then I I'll say I'll slot by and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, lightning will help for sure. <clears throat> um, yeah, we keep the same buffs intact. Okay. Then I have confidence she can do it. And hopefully if somebody, like, kills over you, she's just gonna resin or something. Okay. Try one. We probably still need a little bit of luck, you know. Let's wait. Like you do. Things that you do. <clears throat> Sometimes you need a little bit of luck. Oh god, it's one of these guys. I hate these new guys, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm saying it the way it is. <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of these new guys. I mean, they are wonderfully designed, but whenever I see them, I'm like shaken and shaken. I, I hate their effects. <laughs> so. Stay back, Clara. I need to be brief. Yeah, he does just does dot. You 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 got him. <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see with Slane. We're twirling. Twirl. 
I'm, I'm currently analyzing how well it's going. <clears throat> God, I hate this guy so freaking much. I'll see you off. The only thing I want to say is I hate him. I hate him so much. <sighs> Not much we can do. We need to remove him, otherwise we can't continue. Receive divinity. Repay. What are you looking for? <sighs> Thank God he's gone. <clears throat> okay, let's hope we can still make good points. Hmm. He did cause us quite a delay. Let's settle this. Harmony and unison. Night. Soul shall embrace. Stars echo. Hmm. Yeah, it kind of depends. I hope there's no other big like stoppers or whatever you might call it. <clears throat> it's all yours. Time to the only stop I left is Kafka. <laughs> she's like the end wall. She's she's not the stopper. She's just she's the end wall <laughs> that we need to break through. Yay! Hit Clara some more. <laughs> Oh, we can kill fast. So much for a more stopper. There's another stopper. He, she comes paired with another stopper. The door comes paired with the stopper. Oh, I didn't pay attention. I needed to ult. My bad. <coughs> what a bitch. <laughs> How dare you? You wear a hope and you bring the the evil... Um... Chalice guy. I don't even know. Does he have a name? How dare you? I'm very disappointed. He's fast. Yeah, I know that there. I don't know which one is which. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna use this. I don't know why. I know it's like a bad moment. But I think we need everything we can get. Stop doubting me. Perfect. <laughs> We're running out of skill points. Do you know who I am? Past is what pan present is done. Future is violin. Okay. I will not remember that, but still. <laughs> but it's good to know. <laughs> Can this guy stop existing, please? Listen to the final song of life. Okay. We cheesing a little bit with Robin here, but it's okay. I think I'm allowed to cheese, okay? Turn cheesing. <clears throat> it's a strategy. It's a cheese strategy. It's delicious. Take a little salt, a little pepper on top, and it's a good strategy. See you later. 
Let me old. Heaven's sake. <coughs> <coughs> She brought another one of these. Are you shitting me? Are you all right? Ow. We are so dead. Mm. This is not fair, you know that? <laughs> Repeat. Should I just... Try again? <laughs> I don't think we can still manage. Uh, why the heck does she suddenly have a shield? <clears throat> Screw it. Second half will carry. I think this wasn't too bad. Do you know who I am? It's will it still count if I die? I mean, honest question. The bigger question is, where the heck did she get the shield from? Oh, wait. Is it that when the targets um, around her are not dead, she's like infinitely shielded? Or something? Because then these guys really are stoppers. Because why the heck does she have 1% indefinitely? Eternal sleep is not the we end. just we just hit her with one last old, but I'm now interested. Damage immunity, immune to taking any form of damage. Yeah, you have to kill all other units. The so damage. there you see where the problem lies. These guys actually are stoppers. Don't know if you could like do anything about that actually. Hey, but I killed one more thingy. Nothing major. I think I killed one more thingy and I didn't die actually, we just went out of time. A <laughs> little stopper. Now I hate the guys even more, but we did the 34, which is quite nice. Can't complain at all. A little something for everyone. Now let's see how this half goes. Uh, my camera, by the way, is uh, completely screwed. Okay, this is better. <clears throat> Hmm. I have high hopes. Well, let's see how this goes. Hee hee hee. I'm hee 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 too. Everyone's a customer. Um, okay, so we need to be careful about our skill points. But I think in the first round we can definitely go. Oh, I forgot this thing gives me skill points. I love, I love the little, um, ball machines now. They're the best. Destiny isn't chosen. Ill fate descend. We're just having fun. <laughs> Doesn't need to skull? Yeah, that's how I usually, like, go. I'm not, like... I'm just using it in the first round, but since these guys give us so many skill points, we might as well, Memories you know. I <laughs> told for both. <clears throat> yup, 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 yup. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? They are playing into extra. into our hands. And while we're at it, I'm using this to, like, free hot us. Easy win. I think this team is really good. Wait, you're not... You can use the skill AI. Technically, she could, but I think it's better if she attacks. Thank you, fortune. Everybody prepared for the boot hill, I see. Uh, 
Okay, we have a little, a little less gold points now that the machineries are gone. So we need to be careful with um, Gunhyphen's skill. I'm tempted to get him, but it's banner for his source suck. I quite don't know what's on the banner, but I think, I don't know. I'm not pulling either, so... I, I can't, um, I can't say anything. <laughs> Destiny's Luca Pella Hook. Yeah, that's that's not very good. Condolences to everyone that still has to pull because they want the character. Don't throw the game. Luca and Pella is E20 for me and Hook, who I don't use, is E2. I wish my Pella was E20. My Pella is still like... I don't know what she is. One, two, I don't know. She definitely doesn't have enough to have like her um, her her debuff, and so many guides like mention that you can use Pella for this debuff, and like the ice debuff, <laughs> and mine doesn't have it, so that that kind of like riles me up each and every time. Oh, I just need pearls for a debuff. Yeah, yeah. I know she can, like, debuff with pearls and with alt, but, like... E4 is kind of me and unless you run Misha or Xing Liu. Or Yang Xing, who is always forgotten. I know. I forget him sometimes, too, that he still exists, but... <laughs> My hopes is that um, business, eh? there will be one mode or one like uh, season where he'll actually be good. Actually, um, I think recently in one mock or something, I did use him what in a know? mock 12 even, I think. 11 or 12, I don't know. Um, Yangqing is great now with Aventurian. Good, but not great. The question I always ask is, Continue. why adventuring? Because like Japart is like similar. You know what I mean? It, like he's like similar in what he does, and on top of it, he can wear um. He can wear the Panacone set, which also buffs ice damage. Because <clears throat> Gepard is all based. I mean, technically, if Gepard is hit enough, that doesn't matter, but yes. I do know where that comes from. But I mean, he should at least be usable, right? Oh god, this could be very, very... This could be a little bit, uh, narrow. I I I'm not sure if we if we can still make it. <laughs> we may need to restart. Come on. Give me 60... Give me 60 carry. <laughs> Why are we doing so badly? Did we do something wrong? Did I mess up while I was talking? You believe. Or at least one person believes. <clears throat> Should I get ready to, like... Restart the half? Yeah, I would almost say we should restart, right? <clears throat> yeah. I'll restart. Something clearly went wrong. Restart challenge. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe we just were unlucky, or I did something wrong because I was talking too much. Everyone's a customer. <clears throat> just ult whenever possible, like don't save ults. Yeah, I didn't pay attention either. I thought this one we had like in the back. So I um, no kind of <laughs> went easy.
Ahem. Sorry. Um. In the beginning, we can completely go nuts with our skills. I'll try to pay a little more attention. <clears throat> Hopefully it just works. Hey, yeah, give me skull points. So many skull points. What are you waiting for? I mean I take it. Betray my customers. I charge extra. Yang Xing distracted us. How dare he, the little devil? Yeah, my, my brain was in theory crafting mode and I completely forgot, I'm guessing. <laughs> Something I must have done wrong. Or maybe I was just unlucky. Or maybe it will, will go the same way and I'm disappointed in the second I'm like, huh? Huh? We shall find out. Indeed we shall. <clears throat> <clears throat> Maybe we're just unlucky. I think I remember that, <clears throat> like, the dog guys were, like, on field, like, too long. Maybe they, like, respawned too far apart and, like, the explosions didn't hit the other ones or something. I don't know. <clears throat> we shall find out. Destiny isn't chosen. If there is one thing that I know already from like Genshin and so that runs with the exact setup, the exact gameplay, and everything exactly the same can go vastly different because of random factors. And I think it's the same here too. It's a little less random here, but it's still random to a degree. <clears throat> okay. We need to be a little more careful with our skill points now that the gum ball thingies or whatever it is. Is it toy balls or gum balls? I don't know. <clears throat> I think toy balls. But since the ball machine is no longer here. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Ouch. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. <clears throat> Destiny is apparent. Ill tidings manifest. <laughs> okay, we have one round left. I need to be smart about this. Now, can I, can I quickly? Yeah, yeah, T take her. Sh she's useless right now. I charge extra. Oh, God. Can if that doesn't work, I need to immediately reset, right? Oh, God, this is so, so, so clutch. Watch the face. 
Oh my god. <laughs> now I'm feeling calm. Calm. Panic, calm. Panic, calm. Calm, calm. <clears throat> oh god. So close. <laughs> I focus the one. Yeah, apparently this was just like a close call and I had to just focus on the fight or something. Alt as soon as possible. Yeah, because there's like so many resources of extra energy in this one. <clears throat> that we just had to pump out the other ults that we had. So yeah. <laughs> you did see, by the way, up there. <laughs> Clara kind of OP. Yay! I did not expect to clear that. I just wanted to try. I just I just wanted to have a little sniff, like how is it? Is this good? This is very, very nice. Yeah, um uh, this one this one does not strike joy. <laughs> Here I'm still missing one freaking star as you can see. Uh, this is the last team I tried it with. <clears throat> and as you can see, like, my first half is doing okay. With 32, could be a bit better, honestly, for, like, it having so much, uh, follow-up. But, um... The second half, I'm not really having, like, a good team for it. Because, yeah, while the element does match, <clears throat> we do not have the, like, follow-up bonus, which is why I took this thingy to that everything counts for this, like, box to fall. But it still falls, like, so little. <clears throat> so I, 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 I don't know what's up with this one. If I can still look like, at the last star or something, <clears throat> maybe I, I would need to be more lucky. <clears throat> I just our hand itself is not enough. Yeah, as I said, I I seen a lot of people cheese this with having like lots of follow up attacks on both sides. So you're just like <laughs> you let the box do your work for you, which does seem to.